Hey, what's going on everybody? It is Luke Beller. And so earlier today I was scrolling through YouTube and I come across this video from uh, Stephen A. Smith titled Stephen A. Isn't Surprised the Packers Can't Help Aaron Rodgers in Free Agency. And I was curious as to, you know, what Stephen A. Smith had to say. Of course, Stephen A. Smith is like a legend in the, um, you know, sports commentator space. And that's one thing about sports I love, just the fact that everyone can have their own opinions. And it's always fun to see sort of the reason behind other people's opinions. And so I thought today I would watch this. I haven't watched this video yet. And sort of give my thoughts on whatever he is, you know, does have to say about this. He's talking something about Aaron Rodgers, the Packers, you know, not really being able to help him. I think that's what the like what he's going to talk about in this video. So I'll give my thoughts on the same situation, and I'm curious to hear what he has to say. But right before I get into today's video, I just want to let you guys know who don't know, I actually have another YouTube channel, a personal YouTube channel. Some of you guys have found it just by searching my name, Luke Beller, and you've ended up there. Um, I've actually started posting a little bit more onto that channel, so I will link it down below. Um, I just recently put out another video on that channel, so I'll link that at the top of the description if you guys would like to check that out. And on that channel in the past, I sort of was just documenting my journey through life, the things I was working on. So I'm starting to put some new kinds of videos onto that channel. Um, the one I put out this morning, it sort of talks about overcoming fear by turning to God and sort of my thoughts uh, on that. So if you guys want to see that, I'll leave the link to that video at the top of the description. All right, so now the moment you've all been waiting for, we're going to watch this video together and I'll, I'll give my thoughts throughout and we'll sort of see what Stephen A. Smith has to say about this situation. We know who they are. Aaron Rodgers to them is just another player until he hints about wanting to leave or he hints about being happy and they have to contemplate life without him. Then they get serious for a second to recognize the fact that they ain't just Aaron Rodgers waiting at the next door. I don't give a I don't know if they really think that. I know the media likes to portray that like the Packers are like, eh, you know, Aaron Rodgers, Aaron Rodgers, but honestly, I don't I don't think they really think that, but anyways. But damn if his name is Jordan Love or Love Jordan or anything else in between. It don't matter. The fact of the matter is Aaron Rodgers, that bad man that he is, needs all the help that he can get, and the Green Bay Packers don't have a history of giving it to him. That's really what it comes down to. So it's more of the same. I'm not surprised. Okay, so this quote they have down here, first off, what they're really talking about, it seems. So it says Packers GM Brad and Gutekind says, we won't be able to do a lot in free agency. And um, he did, you know, he, that is a quote that he did say, but I watched the entire interview yesterday and there actually was a point in there where a reporter asked, like, could you potentially be able to come in and get like a, a free agent and make some moves in free agency? And he was like, oh yeah, I think if there was a player we wanted, we definitely could, you know, find a way to make it work. So they seem to leave out that part of the interview because, um, you know, this this one quote doesn't really give the whole story of what Gutekunst was basically saying. But anyways. Last year when he threw for the Tavon Austin, Aaron Rodgers had thrown two passes to a first round pick at the wide receiver spot for the first time in his career. For the first time in his career. This is what we're dealing with here when we talk about the Green Bay Packers. They know what they're doing. That is true. You know, the Packers haven't picked a first round wide receiver in like, I don't know the exact year, but it's been a long time. And honestly, I would have liked to see the Packers, you know, make some more moves for wide receivers. But, um... It is what it is, and the thing is, even though the Packers haven't gone and gotten a wide receiver, the Packers were like the best scoring offense in the NFL, so I don't think it necessarily mattered very much. I do think the Packers need to come in and draft some wide receivers this season, definitely, and you know, I get what he's saying, and I think that um, it definitely would help Aaron Rodgers even more if he had some more wide receiver talent, but the fact that the Packers have been able to, to get it done without that, I mean, it sort of just shows Aaron Rodgers' greatness, um, but we do have some, some good receivers. We definitely probably could use some more, but anyways... They know what they're doing to stay competitive. They know what they're doing to stay relevant. They know what they're doing to field a competitive team and to go out there and to say, we got a chance. But when it comes to doing what it takes to get over the hump and really going for it and delivering the goods, similar to what Tampa Bay did last year, that's not in Green Bay's DNA. And they don't give a damn if Aaron Rodgers suffered because their attitude is shut up and play. That's how they treat him. That's how they've been treating him. And it's a damn shame. But I'm not surprised. Well, I mean, first of all, they can't afford free agents right now. They're, they're in a cat mess. So It's very true. You know, Packers fans, you guys who are watching this, we are very much over the salary cap. So, I mean, not very much, like $12 million, something like that. But continue, Max. Oh, and they're going to have to restructure guys and they're all always kinds in a cat of stuff mess. to bring in a free agent. The question is the, 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 question is the draft. You know, and, and in the previous draft, look, for Jordan Love – to be able for them to be able to ju justify drafting Jordan Love when they were a 13 win team who'd beaten Seattle in the playoffs right they had a playoff win 13 wins by the way Mike McCarthy wasn't it Aaron Rodgers got LaFleur as his new coach 13 wins that year as Rodgers is figuring it out you know 
And now you're thinking, oh boy, if he's just figuring it out as sort of a game manager because he has to understand the new offense, what's going to happen when he really gets it? And there was a chance to get him a first round wide out for the first time ever, Stephen A., really, as you point out. And they didn't do it. They drafted a quarterback. Well, that guy's got to make the whole. Yeah, and on that note, you know, with the Packers drafting Jordan Love, I see why the Packers did it. I think as all Packers fans, we were very shocked that we didn't really see that coming. But Aaron Rodgers hadn't been playing at like his highest level. And the Packers, are like, as I've said before, I sort of feel like it was an insurance policy. Like, let's say for some reason, Aaron Rodgers st starts to go downhill quickly. Because honestly, you never know when a quarterback is going to start to go downhill. And so the Packers were preparing for the future saying, okay, if Aaron Rodgers doesn't do all this season, at least we have someone else. Um, and so now at this point, I sort of feel like the Packers are like, oh, well, we'll, we'll, we'll continue to roll with Rodgers because he's playing at MVP level. Um, but yeah, continue, Max. Hall of Fame now. Like Jordan Love's got no pressure, but you got picked in the first round instead of giving Rodgers a receiver who just won 13 games. That said, Stephen A., a little tough to really get too hard with the Packers when they won 13 games again. I mean, a lot of that's Rodgers, but Good yeah, point, that's part of Good what point. Rodgers allows you to do. It allows you to save over True. here and over there and have a more well-rounded team because Rodgers can, can cover up for some of the deficiencies on offense and even make you really good on offense without the same stuff other people need. And so they win 13 games again, and this time they're in the NFC Championship game. And with the game True. on the line a couple times, Rodgers didn't come through. And I'm talking – now, he didn't – it was it was it a blunder by LaFleur not to hand him back the ball? Of course it was a blunder. It was also a blunder by Rodgers when he had daylight not to make a run for it. Maybe they score. Maybe they're on the one-yard line. Then they'll go for it. I'm just saying right now I can't criticize the Packers about not going for a free agent. They don't have the money. And, and, and now that they've drafted Jordan Love, I expect them to draft a wideout. They, they have draft capital now to go out and address needs. I think Rodgers... Yeah, so what with what Max is saying about, you know, the Packers, I mean, with the quote at the bottom, they won't be able to get a free agent. I think they can if they want to, as Gutekunst also said in his press conference. So I don't think getting a free agent is off the table. I think it's very possible. Will it happen? Who knows? I feel like the right player has to sort of present themselves to um, the Packers, like for them to actually come in and make that move. And I do expect, and I think most people expect the Packers to come in and draft a wide receiver. Maybe not in the first round because we definitely, I think, have some more pressing needs. But there's, from what I've read and what I've seen other people say who are like, you know, more so follow the draft really closely, they say that there's lots of receiver talent, especially even in the middle rounds. So who knows? Maybe the Packers come in, draft a cornerback the first round, third or fourth round. Who knows? Maybe there's a receiver the Packers think that uh, can come in and, you know, work with Aaron Rodgers. Plus, as we've talked about, the Packers don't have a wide receiver signed after 2021. And so I think it is crucial for the Packers to come in and find some kind of wide receiver in the draft. Right Continue. now is in a better position than he's been in in years with the Packers. And the fact that they didn't play on this in the Super Bowl this season, Stephen A., is, is kind of on him. He makes the plays, they play in the Super Bowl. He'll have another really good chance at it this year, maybe yeah. even better than last year. Well, I mean, the, the, you know, you sound crazy you, from the standpoint that, listen, nobody's perfect. <laughs> and you know what? I saw Tom Brady throw... Uh, uh, three interceptions True. in the second half of that NFC Championship game, if I remember correctly. That didn't mean that Bruce Arians was going to tell him to stop throwing the damn football. It didn't mean he was going to take the ball out of his hands. It didn't mean that if he was coaching against Tom Wonder. Brady, he was going to give him an opportunity to give him the damn ball with a little bit over two minutes left, and all he needs is a first down or two to seal the deal. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about. So pointing about what Aaron Rodgers didn't do, I recall them being down 28-10 and Aaron Rodgers bringing them back and marching them downfield, okay? And the next thing you know, yeah, he I, of course he could have ran for the first down, if not more, on that third down play. I get all of that, but guess what? There was still a fourth down to go, and Aaron Rodgers, here's mm -hmm, the key. Mm -hmm. Aaron Rodgers said, A, I never contemplated the fact that the ball would be taken out of my hands on fourth down. That's number one. And number two, Matt LaFleur admitted there was a miscommunication because he never communicated to Aaron Rodgers that he would take the ball out of his hands on fourth down. So I'm sorry. I'm out well, on the field. who would think play. that he would? I, I, exactly. All right, so that is the end of that video. Of course, they're bringing up the, um, you know, the decision to kick a field goal on fourth down, which lots of people wanted to criticize, which, I mean, I get the criticism. I, I honestly expected the Packers to come in and be like, all right, we got fourth down. Of course, we're going for it. But that didn't happen. But, you know, that's in the past. But anyways... From what they're you know saying about this overall, 
I think the Packers still could potentially come in and get a you know a wide receiver, get a free agent. Maybe it's not a wide receiver, some kind of free agent. Um, as to, you know what Gudikins was saying in that. Um, in that press conference. But let me know what you guys think about what Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman had to say down in the comments below. Um, I think it's always fun, as I was saying, to see other people's opinions, other people's takes. It's always entertaining, especially to watch these guys like Stephen A. Smith and Max Kellerman, sort of what they have to say. But thank you guys so much for watching, as always. And I'll leave the link to the you know video on my new channel or my other channel in the description down below if you guys would like to check that out. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.